Noel McNeil, who is the puppeteer of Raphael from Ninja Turtles 3. Thank you so much for joining us today, Noel. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's an honor. Uh, how did you get into puppeteering? Uh, ever since I was a kid, watching shows like Sherry Lewis and Bird Tales Jr. with Pizza Final Island. And then I saw this brand new show called Sesame Street. And just saw those puppets and realized I have never seen anything like that. Those puppets are amazing. And I just kept following along this career of this guy named Jim Henson all the way through the Muppet Show. And at that time I was in high school, so I thought, well, it's almost time for me to go to college. This guy made a living from doing this. Maybe I can make a living from doing it. So that's how I started into puppeteering. Ever since I was a kid. But people do it in different stages of their life. Yeah, it's an amazing job. I've done some puppeteering in my life and enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, do you prefer costumes or puppets? Huh? Puppets, but first choice would always be a full body puppet. So that's full what. Yes, yeah, like Big Bird or Snuffy or Bear. They all, they all do. So the full body puppet is the one I always gravitate to. Now with Bear, did you like Big Bird work the mouth or was there a puppeteer off to the side like the news? No. No, I was inside. I was doing the mouth. I was doing the eyes. I was doing the voice. In fact, I went in for the audition because I had to audition for it. As soon as I walked in the door, they said, use your voice. What do you mean? Like, Just do your own voice. Because Bear was designed as the anti bond Oh! So I was a big character who had a fairly normal voice that wouldn't break on So, in you know, audition, I kept trying to slip something in. They were like, no, 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 no. Just do your voice, do your voice. <laughs> but then I figured, it's like, okay, I'm just going to have fun. I'm not going to get this. So I just started playing with the camera. So Bear pulled something and just like, just like, I need it. Look! <laughs> And just like, because I figured, I'm going to have fun because I'm never going to do this. And, and then two days later, I got the job. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, was actually, it was actually the Friday I auditioned. That Saturday, I had met this girl who was ready to become my wife. And then that Monday, I got the job. And that Tuesday, we started dating. So wow. it, was, it was pretty much that weekend that just changed my life. <laughs> Sounds like a good weekend. It was. <laughs> Speaking about getting jobs, how did you get hired to be right now for Ninja Turtles? Uh, I was recommended. I was recommended for it, and geez, it's so obvious. I, I was recommended for it, and they wanted, since they weren't using um, the Hanson Workshop anymore, they were using a new workshop. Yes, all effects. Right, all effects. The guy did Short Circuit, the original, like, like one, Short Circuit 2. Yeah. Or, or Bob got. And so I was recommended. Got it, got it, I was yes. recommended, it was like, and Jim recommended me, and so it was just like, okay, so I got hired. And also, because we were puppeteers, we were familiar with that type of, like, lip sync. Yeah. But of course it was like a whole new system. The, I call it the, you know, electrified oven man. And the little joystick, so. That's definitely a different name. Yes. Right. Um, were you a Turtle fan before working on Ninja Turtles? Uh, I was a turtle fan. They were actually really cool movies. And uh, I, really, I also liked the cartoon. So, I have, about, I have a five-year-old, so I'm about to introduce him to the whole world of Ninja Turtles. Yay! <laughs> so I was a fan, so the fact that I got picked for this, it was great. And then the fact that they were doing something completely different, going back in time, and also being on location. Because for the other movies, they were on location, but this is the first time they were outside, and, like grass and trees and you a are, mountain. <laughs> you are, yeah. Yes, which doubles for 14th century Japan. It's yes. amazing. How long were you in Oregon for the movie? Um, it's about two and a half months, I think. Yeah, it was, it was the summer of 1992. So it was pretty much like June, and coming back towards the end of August, so it was almost like two, two and a half months. Mm -hmm. then, yeah, because I moved into a new apartment. So, yeah. So, they were so painful. Good turtles. Thank you. Good they, turtles. They helped you in your life. We like the turtles, yes. yes. Um, was there any bloopers that happened while you were around that you can recall? Uh, let's see. Oh, it was just like sometimes, just like bloopers in terms of like the hands, which is like, you know, just like, you know, sometimes, for instance, Jim's head, you know, just like the mouth would just like spaz over and like show all the teeth. Ah! And, and the head would just like roll back. Or sometimes we would talk and the mouth would just keep going. <laughs> Just like you just start shutting everything down. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so little things like that. So, and just like, and uh, I don't think that, but in terms of like, there was like a blooper reel, but not, not in terms of like anything dirty, because puppets are known for dirty stuff. Oh, but, not the bloopers with turtles. Yeah. <laughs> we got bloopers from the other movies, but Turtles 3 I haven't seen much of. Right, there so. was, I vaguely remember there was one, but we didn't get a copy, unlike other things we did. So, 
Yeah. Well, there's like occasional mechanical machines that would happen. Okay. <laughs> and with guys inside were troopers, like Matt. It was my turn. He was, he was a trooper. So it was like one time we did this whole scene and I was worried it was too long and, and I told him to get him, I said, get him out. He said, no, no, can we do it again? I was like, okay. So he was great. And it was great the second time. So it was really, it was really awesome. Matt really is. Last year, not last year, two years ago, he did a run around all of North and uh, North America to save the planet. He did a charity run around. Oh yeah. It's just amazing what he's done. So he's yeah. still doing it. To yeah, this he, was, day. he was you know, he was in great shape back then, so it's nice to see that he's you know, he's still doing it. Unlike me. He's very old and just very tired and <laughs> I mentioned I'm a five-year-old. I'm just very tired. I know. <laughs> Have you stayed in touch with anyone that you made friends with while working on your projects? Uh, definitely all the puppeteers were still all friends. I this time. Gordon Robertson, he was on Friday Rock. And so I'm still friends with Gordon. He's in Canada. Rick Lyon, I still am friends with. Because uh, he did Avenue Q and I got to be in the Avenue Q commercial. The one oh. that's shown, um, the show that Avenue Q is coming to your city. So I was going to come for that. So thank you, Rick. And, uh, and then, of course, Jim. And Jim and I have worked ever since then. It shows like Puzzle Boys and John and so And, of course, Sesame Street and Bear as well. Sounds like you and Jim worked together longer than Turtles, though. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, exactly. uh, some and still, shows that I remember from my childhood. Yes, and there was that one great space coaster. Yes, that's way, the show. Way back then, yes. Yes. That was yes. the first time I met Jim. So. Yeah, that, those were the days, huh? Um, did you get to keep any memories, any items from the set that is uh, memento to your days working there? Yes, my chair. I have the, the, the back of my chair. It says Ninja Turtles 3. It has the hole in the front. I still have that. That's cool. <laughs> that really is cool. That's why I still have it. Uh, and I did have, I did have a kid, a little, like a little, like, hey, like a tie tie. I think I still have that. I definitely want to get back to you. And um, is there anything you're working on right now that you would like to share with the fans? Um, my book. <laughs> yes, you the puppets. So yeah, so the thing I'm working on now is because I'm a puppeteer and a dad, I just made this book called Ten Minute Puppets. We made puppets in ten minutes or less, and it's for adults and kids to do together. And it has inspirational quotes all throughout from puppeteers like Jim Martin and Carol Spinney and Jerry Nelson and this guy named Frank Oz, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. <laughs> yes. I actually saw him on a panel last year. Yes. yes. So as well as like contemporaries like Leslie Carrera, just Abby Gadabby, and John Tatavia and Avenue Q. So it's this whole like connection and asking them about character and voices and the magic of puppetry and theater and just using their imagination. How amazing the world actually is. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Earlier, um, you were mentioning enjoying seeing children in hospitals and stuff like that. Yeah. I have to say, uh, this is something more that I've done too. Uh, back in the day, I used to do Ninja Turtle birthday parties. I was Michelangelo, and uh, it was our own homemade costume. I was the party turtle, right? So we weren't officially Ninja Turtles, but we would do hospital visits for free. And one time, I went to a hospital uh, to see a kid in a podcast. And uh, I went in there, spent an hour with him, and this long talk, make sure he was smiling and stuff. Finally got up to leave, and this nurse comes running out, Turtle, Turtle, you can't go. What, dude, that, what's up? <laughs> and she turns around and she's like, there's, there's this little girl, she almost up like herself from her life support. And so I went in there, spent another hour with this little girl, got the biggest hugs and smiles. I got some pictures from this mm -hmm. event. And it's one of those events where you just look at the pictures and you remember every reason why you actually started doing this. Oh yeah, exactly. So. Especially going to hospitals because it's those moments when parents get to see their kids be their child and not be a patient. And, uh, and it's not another nurse coming in, it's not another doctor coming in. It's a character who wants to come in and just say hi. And, and a kid can be a kid again for just a few minutes, and it's great. They're in the hardest times of their life, you can smile. Yeah, precisely. So anytime I get to do that. In fact, when I go on tour with my book, I ask that I can also do hospital visits and donate copies of the book to the, to the children and centers. That's fantastic. So is there anything you would like to say to the fans before we close out? Uh, thank you for being fans of Turtles after all of this time. Uh, as I said, I'm about to introduce my son to Turtles, so starting the next generation up. And uh, thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you. Thank you.
thank you for taking some time to be on the corner with us. Thank you. And uh, Calvonga. <laughs>